you don't want to die, step aside. Prince? My prince, I am coming. I'm here. Are you hurt, my lord? Please, allow me to check you for wounds. I swear if they hurt even one hair on your precious head, I will go back downstairs and finish off everyone I spared. M m my lord, why are you hugging me? Please, prince, this is... And the coming of a man of your noble status to, to... To hug someone like me. A servant who... Couldn't protect her church. I'm so sorry, my prince. I failed you. I was supposed to protect you, and yet... I let you get captured. And now here I am, late to your rescue, and yet you are offering me comfort, showing me such tenderness. I do not deserve this, my lord. I am better now. Thank you. Please, my prince. I need you to be angry with me. Shout at me. Curse me. Demand these gifts. The more reason for why I was not here to rescue you sooner. Anything. Just... Do not show me pity. It is the one thing that I cannot take, my lord. But, my lord, please, can you not offer up a punishment for me? I, I, but, um, I suppose you do have a point, my lord. I did say that your pity was the one thing I could not stand. But when I said punishment, my lord, I meant something more conventional. You know, you know, one thousand lashes, three turns upon the breaking wheel, eating mud. Oh, anything is better than to have to see you look at me with those eyes of yours. So full of concern, those soft, Round, beautiful eyes. Uh, um, what? I said nothing about your eyes being beautiful, my lord. I would have never been so bold as to say such a flirtatious thing to my lord and my church. Uh, you must be delirious from the lack of water and proper food. I can't imagine that these heathens provided you with food that had the proper nourishment for a noble man such as yourself. All the more reason why we should make haste. No reason we should linger here. Come with me, my prince. My steed waits for us outside. It is not the swiftest of horses, but I promise it is strong. Here we are, my prince. Allow me to introduce to you my riding partner. His name is Cutlet. Yes, Cutlet. Like the food. Why? 
Don't laugh, my lord. He is very sensitive. Cutlet is a perfectly fine name for a horse. He looks like a cutlet, doesn't he? Not exceptionally flashy, but... He's hearty and strong. So what if he is grey? What difference does it make? You think he should be brown if I am going to call him Cutlet? Huh, I don't think that should matter too much. Well, fine then, Prince. What would you name him then? Mr. Cuddles? Excuse me, my lord, but are you feeling well? Why Mr. Cuddles? Cuddles? Cutlet? Cutlet? Oh, my lord. Oh, that joke was terrible. How hard did those bandits hit you? Oh, I mean, look. Even Cuddle. Cutlet is frowning. I didn't even know horses could frown. <sighs> Let's just get on the horse and we can go home. That's it, Cutlet. Have a nice long drink. You've worked hard. You deserve this nice cool bit of water. I think I will collect some as well. My canting is getting a bit low. My lord, please, come and have a drink. This water is from the snow melting off of the mountains. It is so fresh and cool. I promise it will be the best drink you've had since you left the palace. Yes, here you are, my lord. Delicious, right? I stopped here one time on my mission to rescue you. Actually, it was recommended to me by someone I met on my travels. A small, somewhat peculiar young woman. She wore a big red robe, and her eyes were two different colors. One of soft love, and the other of cold stone. She offered me some advice about which of the local plants were safe to eat and then insisted I drink some strange liquid she was carrying around. Naturally, I declined, which turned out to be a smart option considering we found out she made it using poisonous berries. Still, she was very kind to show me to the spring. She was actually also the one who suggested I named this horse Cutlet. She was very insistent. And I figured she had been such a help. The favor of getting to name my horse was quite a modest request. You know, it's strange. I never did catch her name. Well, whoever she is, I hope that I can meet her again one day. She definitely did a service to the kingdom much larger than she imagined. Well, another time. First, we must get you back to the capital. Your father is worried sick about you. I am not the only knight searching for you. I would guess at least half of our most loyal knights are diligently combing the whole kingdom in search. The sooner we get back, the sooner we may put everyone at ease. Hmm, yes. 
You are right, my friends. We should not be in too much of a rush. It is important to rest when we can. I hope you will forgive me, my friends. I admit, I have not truly rested since you were taken. I am unadjusted to being able to relax. Lay my head on you? My lord, I could never. This is completely inappropriate for a mere knight such as myself to act so familiar with you. I... but... um... Yes, my lord. I do obey you. If you should order it of me, then I shall obey. Please excuse me then, my lord. <sighs> this is the second time today that I find myself being comforted by you, my lord. I must admit, I am at odds with this feeling. I feel as though these roles should be reversed. But I cannot lie. I do enjoy this feeling. Ah, your love is so comfortable. I can feel your legs. They are much softer than mine. Not so worn from a life of wearing heavy armor and knowing war. But they are still a little firm. And they feel strong. Oh, my lord, please. Do not run your hands from my hair. It is dirty with sweat and mud, I beg you. fall asleep. My lord, thank you. But I... I know it's all too late to say this. But as a woman, if you insist on touching me so tenderly, my lord, then I humbly request you allow me to wash in the spring. I shall head downstream so as not to contaminate the water should you desire another drink. Prince, you should not tell a woman, especially a rough woman like myself, that you want her to wash upstream so you can drink my bathing water. 
Honestly, Prince, as I was saying, I, I will head downstream to bathe. Please excuse me. Wait, are you still here, listener? Thank you for staying until the end. And thank you for listening. As always, I would like to thank my patrons for supporting me in making this audio role base. And my pink patrons. Brandy. Diet Jelly. Filthy Degenerate. Lard Butano, Luna, and Martyr. Thank you so, so much.